Good morning, everybody. Resale Rabbit here. It is part three of this warehouse sale. I'm currently stocking Diet Pepsi. We're doing these for five bucks for a 24 pack, hoping that brings some people in. It is Wednesday, September 27th, and the first half of the sale was terrible. Worst sale we've ever had by a long shot. So hopefully this week is better. And I've got it in the back here. I'm hoping this gets people to come here. And they come to the back so they see the other stuff and grab some other stuff while they're here. I feel like I would be selling these for about 10 bucks a piece if I wasn't trying to use it to draw people in. So we're doing one per family because otherwise someone's going to come and clear all of this out. And I don't want that to happen. we got shoes set up. Um, I mean, it's pretty much exactly how we ended the last video at this point. This is what I get to deal with. Um, so it's really slow and somebody has a doctor's appointment. She is not happy to be in there. So on eBay, someone bought a Tampa Bay. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to change my response. Tampa Bay Rays hat. I'm glad I reread this before sending it. Anyways, they said it's been sitting in Denver for a couple of days. Just wondering if you had any updates on shipping. I looked. They sent this message last night, and coincidentally, last night, it left the Denver facility. So, like I said, it looks like it left Denver last night. I'm not sure why it sat there so long. I'll keep an eye on it to make sure it continues on its way to you. Now, in their message, they said they want to wear it because Tampa Bay will be in the postseason this year, is what they said. In my head, I was thinking Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, my response... I assure you, it will arrive before Jordan Love, Jordan Love and the Packers knock you out of the playoffs this year. I don't know anything about baseball, so I'm going to have to remove that. That would have been really embarrassing to send that, not realizing that it was a, a baseball hat, not a football hat. Halfway point of the day, a whopping 1600 bucks. So, like I said, it's Wednesday of week two. We finally got the Flyers in. If you remember the previous ones, they printed the backside upside down. Um, didn't get any discount despite these coming so much late. They're like business card material. They're a much thicker stock. And I mentioned it and I said, it's fine. That's not a problem. Um, but they're a lot thicker. And she says, I think they printed them the same. And she brought them back to the manager and said, no, they're the exact same thing. No, I assure you they're not. Which again, it's not a problem, but I feel like mistakes like that could become problems. So I think I will be trying number three for an, a third print company. I'm gonna start running out of printing companies. I'd prefer to go local rather than buying online, but I'm sure I'll find someone. So what you're saying now is that when you see your reflection in this mirror, you think there's a homeless guy here? Is that what you're telling me? Ben told me that mirror was annoying him because every time he walked past it, he thought someone was back here in the eBay area. These expired over a year ago, but they're still delicious. I got a whole bunch of boxes of this stuff. That's gonna go tomorrow, I think. I've eaten so much candy and beef jerky today. Maybe freezing that other lasagna was a bad idea. $2,600 today. The grand total for the sale is $17,400. Normally, that's like less than two days. By about midday Friday, the first week, we're at that. This is really, really rough. I feel like this is going to be a really boring and very short video. Maybe I'll make the whole sale one part instead of two this time. We'll see how long it is when I'm editing. This sucks. Uh-oh. So I don't know if I mentioned, um, Tim had an emergency medical thing. I'm not gonna go into details on it uh, for his privacy, but he's out the rest of the sale. And now I'm sick, completely unrelated to what he had. Uh, what he had dealt with but my temperature's high and I feel like crap it's not quite at the fever mark yet but I'm gonna be pretty limited it's 707 normally I film the video at 7 I'm not even there yet and I still have to reset tables 
it's if this gets any worse it's a possibility we may have to cancel the rest of the sale um, because we're just going to be too short staffed if I can't be there too so that's fun <coughs> I'm going to try and spend the day in the back uh, once we open just so I don't risk getting anyone else sick I don't have my sanitizer going I feel like crap so I took a COVID test and I had a very, very, almost impossible to see faint line. According to the instructions on the test, that's a positive result. Result, But the test did expire a little bit ago. So I am leaving Ben here by himself. Justin will be here in an hour uh, to go get, get to the doctor to get an actual test. And if it is COVID, uh, we're basically closing when Ben leaves. Uh, he has another job at night, so he's going to be leaving at 1. We have no choice but to close at 1 if I can't be in here afterwards. There must be a sale on bird food today. Look at all of these birds. We even got these guys waiting. Must be a really good sale for them to wait because the mall doesn't open for two more hours. So, I'm in the ER now. I have a feeling the rest of the sale is going to be canceled. It is Friday. We canceled today, and we closed at 2 o'clock yesterday on Thursday. We'll, we'll see how the rest of the sale goes. I don't think we're going to reopen. I think this is going to be it for this one. I'll say it again. This sale is cursed. 20 cars for 40 bucks. Why someone had to open a, this up is beyond me. It says what it is. You can see it's all clear packaging. Opening it up and dumping it out. These people suck. So it's late at night. I'm, at, I'm out of the hospital. I'm at the warehouse. Uh, well, nobody's here resetting the tables. They were pretty empty. I mean, we didn't have a lot of people, a lot of help when we were open last um so it's understandable that they didn't weren't able to really restock much so here's the plan <clears throat> saturday tomorrow is going to be two dollar <clears throat> two dollar day saturday tomorrow is going to be two dollar day sunday is going to be dollar day and we're not going to have a bag day since i'm not going to be able to be here um to say okay this needs to be stocked that needs to be stocked the other thing needs to be stocked Tim is also out. He's the other one who knows what needs to be stocked. Um, I don't even have regular people. I've got Ben working Dollar Day and then a buddy of mine who's going to come in and help. So basically, I'm going to tell him a couple of pallets that we're stocking, you know, snack pallets, and then Halloween stuff and fall stuff. That's it. That's all that's going to be stocked. Um, Dollar Day should clear this out pretty decently. And then... We'll figure out what the next step is, but that will get us through this sale at least. This is actually only the second time we've ever had to close a day during the sale. There was one other time when there was a really bad blizzard on Sunday. And so we closed that Sunday, but we took whatever dollar amount day that Sunday was and moved it to Wednesday. And that was when we started doing Wednesdays. So I just made a post showing the schedule change on the Facebook page. I think I got the tables reasonably set up. I am just, I feel like I'm gonna tip over. I can't be here any longer right now. But um, we've got, we're done with the bedding. Whatever's here will sell. We're not selling anymore. Um, and then just stuff. I mean, some of it like this, I'm really surprised is still here. You know what, I'm gonna pull this. We're gonna put this, in, oh, there's two of them. We're gonna put these in the auction because I feel like these are worth more than two bucks. So back over here, um, I put the last of the jerky out. This probably could have gone out at earlier dates, uh, but I wasn't here and I forgot it was there when I was telling them, you know, what to look for, what to grab. Um, what else? I didn't really do a lot here. Straightened up a little bit. I put through some Halloween stuff in here. Um, these are still here. I don't know that those have any value at all. Um, here's something I'm a little surprised by. These aren't really going for much. I think these are like 15 bucks shipped on eBay. So I, maybe I'll grab one of them for the auction. I put a little bit of fall stuff out. 
these tables were pretty much empty. All these, there were a bunch of boxes here that were empty, so I filled them back up. I'm sure they're going to empty out very fast. I'm not here to be able to make judgments on what can be put out and what can't. Look at this cheese sauce mix and au jus mix. I think those are for like a restaurant to make very large batches. So what I'm going to have them do, we've got a whole pallet of this candy. I'm going to have them keep putting that out. I'm going to have them put out um, all the Halloween stuff, even if it's really nice stuff. We need it out of here. Well, these boxes were here already, so maybe the jerky wouldn't have sold. Uh, I've got a pallet of these. cost me 25 bucks. We're going to keep putting those out. And then a handful of other pallets and the Halloween and fall stuff. It's not going to be much, but honestly, we're so understaffed that it's going to look like crap anyway. So hopefully it does all right. I do plan on coming in tomorrow night, but there's a possibility. You know, I was going to come in last night so that we could be open today and, you know, help set up tables. But I was on my deathbed last night. I seriously was not in a good place. I... Would have called an ambulance, but I couldn't get off the couch. Anyways, um, so I woke up feeling much better this morning. That's what, despite this morning, is when I went to the ER. But that's unrelated. A anyways, I'm getting way off topic here. So I had planned on coming in yesterday, and I wasn't able to. So I can't guarantee that I'll be able to come in tomorrow to help or to reset everything for Sunday. But I printed signage and stuff for tomorrow, so that's ready to go. So, worst case, I don't need to be here. I do need to change the price in the system, and I will probably have to teach Ben how to do that. But I think I can do that via text. I also made sure I take the sign off the door that says we're closed today. Um, I just texted Ben. I said, put up a sign on the door that says we're closed, and he did a really good one. I think I already threw it away. Very professional, looks nice, different size fonts for different things. I was very pleased with that. And I'm going to clock out for the few hours that I worked. Um, so I made sure to take that off because Ben probably isn't going to show up till right before we open tomorrow. I worked, wow, exactly one hour I was here, 6.54 to 7.54. Uh, so anyways, I took that off so a customer doesn't show up at 7.30 and go, oh, they're closed today. Um, ben was working here. He was, you know, it's still work day for him, so he was working on the auction. I gave him the choice. I said, I just need you to go put a sign on the door saying we're closed, then work on the auction or take the day off your call, and he decided to work. Um, I need my wallet, and I got to turn lights off. So that... Um, Oh, he said there were a bunch of people outside trying to get in. So maybe this was the first day of this sale that we were going to be busy. I don't know. Hopefully the next two days are decent with the little bit that we have going out. I'm going home. Oh, it just got really dark in here. Flashlight. Ah, now you can see me. I'm going home. And uh, that'll give time for the virus to dissipate. I think it only sits on surfaces for like 20 minutes. So I'm not, it's safe here after I'm gone. Probably should have been wearing a mask here. But, you know, I really enjoyed wearing a mask when everybody was wearing masks, when it was an everyday thing. Um, I'm no longer used to it. Wearing it today, well, actually, for my COVID test yesterday, was the first time I'd worn a mask in a long time. And, boy, it was awful. I'm going to have to get used to that again. I mean, not that I'm really going into public or anything until until I'm okay. I'm rambling too much. All right, that is uh, the end of this part. I will update you on sales tomorrow. I don't know if you're wondering why I'm wearing the fancy baseball cap is because I haven't brushed my hair in two days. And I'm in public. Even though I'm at the warehouse, you never know if I'm going to be pulled up at a stoplight next to someone who recognizes me. I still have my hospital band on. I should probably take that off. It's just like a county fair band with a sticker on it. I'm not going to show the sticker because it's got info on it. But basically just a label that they stick on to a band that you get when you go to the county fair. Remember when they used to have like fancy ones in the hospitals? And then they put a sticker on that says I have an allergy. I'm allergic to garbage people. Yeah, okay, I'm going home. So they needed quarters. 
So I ran to the bank through the drive-through and got quarters. Let me go to the back so I can talk without music because I'm about to leave. So I went and got quarters. I went to the bank through the drive-through, got quarters, dropped them off. And as I dropped them off, Ben sent a customer to me. And apparently she set her purse on a table and walked away by mistake. And someone went through it and took 250 bucks out of it. And so I sat and looked at the security cameras and couldn't find anything, but I feel really bad for, like, why? If you see a purse that's clearly someone's purse, why do you braid the money out of it? It's just awful. But at least I was wearing this while interacting with the customer and I was probably about six feet away. And my symptoms are basically gone. You can tell I'm not like cough, not coughing, phlegming up as much as I did yesterday, uh, last night. So maybe it's okay. I hope it's okay. But I'm gonna get out of here before anybody else tries to talk to me. Apparently people are very upset that today isn't dollar day. Like incredibly upset where Justin had to basically throw someone out. Um, what I was told is she was really annoyed that it wasn't dollar day. That's two dollar. It's dollar day. I can prove it, she says. And she eventually just fine and started throwing her stuff at Justin. Told her kids yelling and swearing, get your hmm on the counter. And Justin said, nope, we're not letting you buy stuff anymore. You can go. So I didn't see the interaction, but from how it was described to me, I stand behind him. I would have done the same thing. Um, also, my truck isn't starting. Brand new battery in it, like a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And connections are all tight. It jump starts, but like a second after I start it, it shuts off. I always believe that if you buy a brand new vehicle, it doesn't matter what brand it is. All the people that say, well, don't buy this brand, don't buy that brand. But the amount of problems that I've had from this Ram truck, I don't think I'm ever buying another one because it is unbelievable the amount of issues that this truck has had for me. So it's about 11 o'clock at night. I'm just getting in here to reset tables. So let's, let's see how they look. I'm told it was pretty busy. We did almost $5,100. So I think that might be our best day so far. I need to bring another pallet of these out. We've got space here for something, uh, whether that's going to be a priced item or what have you. These are looking pretty empty. Um, the tables look pretty good though. I mean, they're a mess, but as good as they can be. So I need to fill in this area. Be nice to pull these racks before I leave. Oh, they must have set up a table here. I think we had, yeah, we had a clothes rack here before. That chair still hasn't sold. Uh, wow, how are these still here? Maybe it's because they're under a table. I'm gonna put these up on the, on the table. Um, special buy. Looks like a lot of the stuff that was here is still here. Um, yep, both of these are still up here. Look at how much of a mess this is. We do have some of these tables left. I can bring some more of these tiles out. Someone took two of the owls out of here. Great. Um, oh, so Ben told me, I don't know why I'm going, he said it's on the security cameras. I'm not going to go and look, but there was a bag of like a protein powder or something and someone ripped it open. And so he picked it up. And it like shot all over his face, like just a big plume of, uh, of powder. Uh, this thing's still here. I tried putting that in the auction. Nobody bought it. So I guess maybe someone will pay a dollar for it. These are still here. Wow. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm just going to set up stuff. We're getting low on pretzels. I'll probably bring these down. This is not a special buy item. I'll put it right there. So that is the plan. I'm thinking I might drop these to five. I haven't decided yet. Uh, these are clearing out pretty good. Glad someone wanted to uh, tear this open just to make sure it's exactly what we have on display here. That's that's helpful. That's, that was nice of them. Um, so yeah, people are garbage whether I'm here or not. 
Boy, it's such a mess up there. And I understand there were only two people working. There's not a lot you can do about keeping it nice and neat when there's only two people working. I hate that it looks like that, but I also understand why it looks like that. I can't figure out why it seems so dark in this corner the last two nights I've been here. Maybe I'm just not used to come being here after dark. I understand why it's so, you know, trashed up there. I get it. There are only two people. I'm not upset with them. I just hate that that's how it looks. To be honest, I'm so upset with how this sale is doing, how poorly it's doing and now how messy and poorly stocked it is just because we're understaffed. I'm barely even advertising it. You know, before I was advertising on Facebook Marketplace and everything, at this point, I'm just trying to be done. Uh, oh, the shoes definitely need to be cleaned up. So I'm just trying to be done. I'm advertising it on our Facebook page and that's basically it. Oh, I forgot to post this on Facebook. Someone left their wallet here. Okay, so I'm ransacking through it because the name that Ben gave me, I'm not going to show it, but is not the name that's on the license. And then I looked in here. This card is the name that Ben gave me. This card is the name that's on the license. This is a stub for a cashier's check for her rent. That's the name on the license. So I don't know why there's a card for someone else in there. However, I did see it's a four-leaf clover in here. Guess it wasn't bringing that much luck. Although maybe the lucky part is the fact that we found it and we're honest. So I'm thinking the person whose name is on the license is the person who it belongs to. And maybe the card belongs to, this other card belongs to a friend or something. It just says it's a rewards card. $57 on, I don't know what that is. So I'm going to make a post on our Facebook page for this. All right, just so the ID's out, but they're kept together. I stretch wrap them together like that. With that, since I'm not going to be here. All right, so special buy. I refilled those. Put these out. A couple more of those. That's pretty much it. Over here, I put a new pallet of these out. And then we're going to do these a dollar per six pack. My cost for this whole pallet is 25 bucks. And I'm sick of looking at it, so I'm going to let them go. Um, and then I just need to fill up that little space in the front corner and then I'm out of here. It's, let's see, it's already after midnight. Yes, I could clean this stuff up. I think I'll get this cart out of here, but the rest I'll just leave. Yes, it's a mess, but it is also after midnight. This will just have to stay like this. It's not like completely empty. It's just really messy. So that is the plan. And I've got some boxes of snacks that'll fit right in these gaps. So I'll be quick. So one of the perks about this business is I get to try fancy things like this. I'm pretty sure I've seen these for like six bucks for a bottle of water. I'm gonna try one. I already opened one because I'm trying to do this with one hand. It tastes the same as the water that's like three bucks for 24 of them. So. Apparently, this is perfectly balanced pH, though. But it's, it's water. It doesn't cost anything, so I'm going to finish this. If you want my opinion, I think things like that is just really a fashion statement. Uh, like the people who drink Starbucks all the time can't go anywhere without their Starbucks or what are some other brands like that. I know there are others. I don't know. I'm not a coffee person, so I can't say whether or not Starbucks is good or bad. Ben must have already taken the signs down, all right? Makes it easy for me. Um, I can't really say whether Starbucks is good or bad, but it just feels like something that people only drink because it's fashionable, but they pretend it's because it's good. That's my guess, at least. But that water, or fancy waters like that, I'm pretty certain it's people only drink it because it's fashionable. And if you want to spend that kind of money to look fashionable, just... Give it to me and I will say how cool you are and how I wish I could be like you. All right, and we're all set up. I'm exhausted. It is 1229, I'm going home. It's pretty enough. I get these on each register and at the door. Hopefully that has less annoyed people than today. Filled this area up. I'm okay getting a buck a piece for these because there's a ton of them. And I don't think I paid a lot for the pallet they came on. Um, filled stuff up here. I think we could probably get a lot more for these later, but I don't care at this point. Just get them out of here. Uh, I did not really do anything with this. 
uh, or this back here or this. It's not going to be pretty, but I mean, it's after midnight and my stamina isn't still isn't the greatest from being sick. So I need to go home and go to sleep. I am excited to see if these sell uh, because that would be awesome getting 30 bucks for them the day after I bought them. Um, and then also be really cool if we sell this whole pallet. We're probably not going to because I just put it out, but that would be nice. This I'd like to see gone. I feel like a dollar for a six pack of soda. Put a couple of them up so people can see how they're situated. I feel like that will uh, entice people to grab a few. I think we'll sell through a lot of these, if not all of them. Um, and remember, my cost is 25 bucks on that pallet. They're good. If they don't sell, I mean, we'll keep some of them and drink here. But that's wait, they're already, you know, expired. I think they're pretty far expired because they've been sitting here forever. Uh, do you see a date on here? Uh, August, so they're not super expired. A couple of months. But, I mean, we've been drinking them. They're good. But if we save this whole pallet to drink, that would probably take a year at least. And then they might not be so good. So we'll keep, you know, five to ten six-packs. Not that many. I think my rambling here in between clips has... Um, made this video an appropriate length. Also, I got an envelope full of cash that I'm taking out of here because we haven't made a deposit at all this week, I don't think. Got a clock out here. Um, because we haven't made a deposit since I've been sick. And what was that, Thursday, I think? Wednesday? No, it must've been Thursday. So I think Wednesday was probably our last deposit. And Wednesday was a super slow day. I, I don't even know if I made a deposit Wednesday. This might be going back to last week. So, yeah, I'd rather not leave all of that here. Um, unfortunately, tomorrow is Sunday, so I can't bring it to the bank tomorrow. But I can at least get it out of the building and into my safe at home. So, I could put it in the safe here. But we're having issues with it. Whoa. I gotta find somebody who can fix a safe. The electronic keypads. A little iffy. So right now we don't have a safe. But I've got a big gun safe. Uh, buried and bolted away in my house. That is secure enough to handle it. Anyways. I am out of here. I will let you know what the final number is tomorrow. I'm thinking about possibly doing a bag day on Monday. It would be for like one hour. We open for one hour and clear the stuff out, and that's going to be it. Oh, I got to take pictures for the ads. Then I'm out of here.